On to some other stories. Uh, some even more astonishing scenes, I suppose. Uh, yesterday, the ex-Wales women's captain, women's football team captain, Laura McAllister, was ordered to remove her hat before she entered the stadium in Qatar because it had a rainbow on it. You can just about see it in that little picture there on the right-hand side of the page. Um, A Danish reporter had to remove his rainbow armband live on TV. And even the Belgium team was ordered to remove the word love from inside the collar of their away kit, where you'd think hardly anybody's going to flip and see it. But Jason, what right does Qatar have to set the rules for FIFA, which are the organisation that's issuing all these diktats. Or maybe we look at it the other way around. What does FIFA think it's on, that it's done this dirty deal with with a a very regressive and repressive regime um, and and, and now is, is kind of trampling over and insulting people because they want to express their identity? And... I, I, and it comes back to this really nasty, could be a chance to break down barriers, work across nations, bring people together. And yet countries like Qatar and before Qatar, Russia, which was the previous host of the World Cup. And before that, you had China hosting the Olympics, are using sport as a, as a kind of form of, of, of propaganda. And as a form to uh, kind of kind of whitewash the reputation, and it's worked and the, so well, hasn't it? And, and unfortunately, the sporting authorities, whether it's the the, the, the the Olympic authority, the IOC, or whether it's FIFA, collude in them because they get lots of money out of it. And I mean, it's a difficult one. I mean, you could argue that you know. Pakistan, for instance, has a pretty horrible human rights record, but we still play cricket against them. Um, And you could say that, you know, we can't, you know, pick and choose which countries we play sport against in some instances, because otherwise we'd just be playing amongst a very small group of slightly self-righteous nations. But on the other hand, the kind of the corruption involved and the unwillingness to stand up for basic human rights um, is deeply unsatisfactory. <laughs> yeah, I'd quite like to see the Self-Righteous World Cup. Um, if goodness knows who'd be playing it. Maybe we'd have a slight chance of actually winning it. That would be good, wouldn't it? Um, I think Jason has frozen, so goodness knows if he can still hear me or not. I'll have to witter and see if we get him back and if the, if the image is actually working. Mm. But get into the questions, ask us your comments. What do you think yeah. about how Qatar is handling? Is he back? Is, what does he think about Qatar is handling um, mm. the situation here? Now, the thing that bothers me, Jason, really, is you know what did Qatar expect when they invited? the debauched, equality-obsessed West <laughs> to come and play yeah. football? Did they really think we were all going to put on an abaya, forswear alcohol, and decide to be other than our hardware decrees? I mean, this is, I mean, it, it seems to have backfired on them quite badly, hasn't it? I mean, if, if they were using this for kind of propaganda purposes, I mean, all it's done is draw attention to the, to, to, to you know, the, the very bad human rights record. And, 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 but I still think the blame primarily lies with FIFA. I mean, FIFA could make a stand on this. He could say, look, if you want the honour of hosting a major tournament, then you have to accept that, that nations and participants should be able to express themselves in the way they want to. And, and I mean, the only silver lining of this, so as I was reading this morning, that, 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 that the, the Welsh firm which is making these rainbow hats, the sales have gone through the roof. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and exactly. have to them on. Yeah, now Steve says, I think Steve's the only person watching today. Steve says, Qatar behaving this way is reinforcing just how intolerant and oppressive they are. And it is, you're right, Jason, it's such an own goal because, you know, basically what they're doing is telling the whole world not to go on holiday in Qatar unless you want to be victim of a crackdown of some sort, even when it comes to wearing of your hat or what's inside the collar of your shirt, which I'm sure is the opposite of the point that they were trying to make when they... uh, used FIFA at the height of one of the most corrupt uh, scandals in in sporting history to get uh, the approval for the for the World Cup. And of course, that's something that Russia and China benefited from as well. FIFA's supposed to have been cleaned up since then. Maybe they need someone else to do the cleaning. We'll have to see, won't we? Um, 
But, you know, well, how anyone's going to get through um, the next couple of weeks, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, at least Peter Tatchell's being sensible and staying away. I wouldn't like to see um, such a, an absolute cultural institution as Peter being clapped in irons in a Qatar basement. So uh, everyone who is there, well done for trying to wear your hats and armbands, but please look after yourselves.